the Chatelier's principle. So, as we increase OH negative, the system will oppose the increase, so the equilibrium will shift, shift to the left. So, as I said, whenever equilibrium is shifting to the left, uh, E naught becomes more negative. So, this will become more negative. More negative. The right hand electrode, so the right hand electrode is the oxygen electrode. If we increase OH negative, again equilibrium will shift to the left and as equilibrium shifts to the left, this will also become more negative. More negative is the same as less positive. Now let's move forward. So let's erase this part. Hence deduce. Hence, deduce whether the overall E cell is likely to increase, decrease or remain the same when OH negative increases. So, since both are becoming more negative, since both are becoming more negative, uh, the E naught is likely to remain the same because obviously the same change is happening. So, the E naught is likely to remain the same. It will be remain the same because if you see Let's, let's take an example, okay? So let's say this becomes minus 1.00 and let's say this becomes um, we have this becomes 0 0.23 because both are becoming less negative. So we'll have to invert this one obviously because 0 0.23 this was plus 0 0.23 so we, we know that plus 0 0.23 is greater than minus 1 so we will use the equation now that they have given to us so this will become plus 1 so plus 1 plus 0 0.23, 1.23 and that was what we had got initially. So it remains the same. So just one other reason why a high NaOH concentration is used in the fuel cell. Obviously, so because uh, to increase the conductivity because the greater the number of ions, NaOH is obviously is Na plus and OH negative ions. So the higher the number of ions, uh, uh, the higher the E naught, uh, the higher the conductivity. So uh, it will be to increase conductivity. Conductivity. Okay, so we have it done with this. Now let's move forward. Okay, so this is a different question. Let's erase what we had from the previous question. In the cells of a lead acid car battery, the following reactions take place. Cathode. Okay, first of all, please don't use this one. Just invert it for now. We'll do when we have to invert it, we will. But let's just use the one where the electrons are on the left. Yeah, now it's fine. And in this and the anode, okay. Use the data booklet to calculate the E naught cell for this reaction. Now, for this reaction, uh, the PB two plus, uh, it is. Um, let me check in the data booklet. It is minus zero point one three volts. And for this, for the anode reaction, when I look at the data booklet, it is plus one point four seven volts. So since minus 0 0.13 is less than plus 1.47, we'll have to invert this equation. That's how we get this equation. So this becomes plus 0 0.13. Then we add the two together. So plus 0 0.13 plus 1.47 will give 1.60 plus 1.60 volts. Construct an overall equation. So two electrons, two electrons cancel out. So this becomes Pb solid plus PbO2 solid plus 4H plus aqueous gives now you can see that uh, the Pb2 plus and Pb2 plus are both on the right hand side so they will add up to give 2 Pb2 plus plus 2H2O uh, so sorry this was aqueous 
plus 2 H2O, which is liquid. Now uh, we have constructed an